Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In today's video, we're going to install the XFCE terminal on a Chromebook. But first, if you like videos where I install and show you how to install software on a Chromebook and Windows, please subscribe. Okay, let's get to the video. The first thing I need to do is enable the Linux development environment. So to do that, I'm going to go over to the launcher here and I'm going to search for my settings and I'll click on my settings and on the left hand side of my settings I have advanced here I'm gonna to click to expand that tab and I'm gonna go on down to developers and click on that from here I can turn on the Linux development environment by clicking turn on this will bring up a setup wizard and I'll start to go through it so I'm gonna click next and it's gonna give me a username and that's based off my email now this can't be changed later I don't believe so you want to pick a username that you definitely want and then it's also going to give me a recommended disk size I'm going to keep both as is and click install and that's going to take a few minutes to go ahead and install so I'll come on back once that's done once you turn on the Linux development environment a terminal will pop up I can close my settings here I'm going to maximize this and increase the font so you can see what I'm doing and I want to make sure everything is up to date and I can do that by typing sudo apt get update and then two ampersands for and sudo apt get dist upgrade and I'll do a dash y to say yes to the additional space I'll hit enter okay once the Linux development environment is enabled we can install the XFCE terminal to do that we'll type sudo apt get install xfce4 dash terminal and hit enter it's going to prompt us to take some additional space I'm going to press Y and enter okay once that's run through I'm going to go to my launcher here and I can see the icon right here for xfce terminal if I didn't see that I could search my apps to find the icon once I found the icon I'm going to pin to the shelf and then I'm going to click to open and there we go we've got XFCE terminal open and we can begin editing and setting up our terminal. if you like this video please give it a like thank you 